Special Counsel Robert Mueller's investigation resulted in 34 people being charged with crimes, including 26 Russian nationals and six former Trump advisors or associates. It uncovered financial crimes, delved into murky lobbying efforts for the Ukrainian government, and revealed a complex web of internet propaganda. Among the people connected to President Trump who were charged are lobbyist and political consultant Paul Manafort, who worked as Trump's campaign manager in 2016. He faced multiple indictments stemming from his work as a political consultant in Ukraine in 2012 and his financial dealings. The indictments included charges of conspiracy against the United States, conspiracy to launder money, working as an unregistered foreign agent, making false statements, tax evasion, and bank fraud. Manafort was convicted of eight tax and bank fraud charges in August 2018, and then pleaded guilty to conspiring to defraud the United States and to obstruct justice in a separate case in September 2018. The guilty plea was part of a deal that the judge later ruled that he breached. He was sentenced to seven and a half years in prison in March 2019. Several of Manafort's business associates from his work in Ukraine were also caught up in the investigation. Rick Gates, who had worked with Manafort since 2006 and was his deputy on Trump's campaign, was also charged and pleaded guilty to conspiracy and lying to the FBI in a cooperation deal. Alex van der Zwan, a London-based lawyer who worked with Manafort and Gates when they worked as political consultants in Ukraine and is also married to the daughter of a Russian billionaire, pleaded guilty in February 2018 to lying to the FBI about their work in Ukraine. He was sentenced to 30 days in prison. And Manafort's longtime Ukrainian business associate, Konstantin Kalimnik, was charged with working with Manafort to obstruct justice. Investigators say the two tried to influence potential witnesses in a case involving their failure to register as foreign lobbyists. The FBI also says that Kalimnik has ties to Russian intelligence. In a 2017 statement to the Washington Post, he denied any connection to Russian intelligence. Trump's short-lived national security advisor, Michael Flynn, pleaded guilty in December 2017 to lying to the FBI about his contacts with Russian ambassador Sergei Kislyak. Mueller recommended that he serve little to no jail time for his substantial assistance to the investigation. George Papadopoulos, who was a foreign policy advisor to the Trump campaign, pleaded guilty in October 2018 to lying to the FBI about his interactions with Russians who said they had damaging information on Hillary Clinton. He was sentenced to 14 days in prison in September 2018. President Trump's former personal lawyer, Michael Cohen, pleaded guilty to lying to Congress in November 2018, after Mueller's team searched his office, home, and hotel room in April. He also pleaded guilty in a separate case in the Southern District of New York to eight charges that included campaign finance violations, tax violations, and lying to a bank. He was sentenced in December 2018 to three years in prison. And longtime Republican operative Roger Stone, who has informally advised Trump over the years and was briefly an advisor to his campaign in 2015, was indicted and arrested in January 2019 on charges including lying, obstruction, and witness tampering. Mueller's team of prosecutors charged 13 Russian individuals and three entities in February 2018 for a long-running online scheme to criminally interfere with the 2016 election through a troll farm that carried out a divisive propaganda campaign on U.S. citizens. And Richard Panetto, a California businessman, pleaded guilty in the same month to identity fraud for creating hundreds of bank accounts with stolen identities and selling them to unidentified offshore users that may have been connected to the troll farm. He was sentenced in October 2018 to six months in prison and six months of home confinement. They also charged a group of 12 Russian military intelligence officers in July 2018 for hacking Democrats' computers and stealing and publishing their data. Mueller also sent a number of referrals to other prosecutors, including ones that resulted in charges against Gregory Craig for making false statements. He served in the Obama administration as White House counsel and then worked at the same law firm as Manafort. His referral also spurred on the Southern District of New York's charges of financial crimes against Cohen. So while Mueller's investigation is shuttered, threads of it are continuing, whether in ongoing sentencing or continuing investigations in other jurisdictions. <laughs>